Welcome to this short video lesson on Scratch. This video lesson is based on lesson 8 and through this video uh, I'm going to take you through one main activity that is given in uh, the PowerPoint slide. So here the main uh, points uh, that I would like to cover through this video is one is to write an algorithm and to convert that algorithm into a real program. So what is an algorithm? So algorithm is a very simple concept. It's a sequence of instructions, step-by-step -step process to be followed whenever we will have to complete a task. Whatever we do, we always plan and then we sequence the events. So to, to achieve anything, uh, we need to plan and then come up with the sequence of events. We sequence out things. So that is basically an algorithm. And then the task can be anything. Sometimes we also call it as a problem. So task or problem basically means the same. So a task in case of any scratch could be a simple animation, simple game, a basic communication between two sprites uh, amongst a certain number of sprites. So anything that you're going to create becomes a problem. Or anything that you're going to create is a task. So algorithm basically is a sequence of instruction to solve a problem or to complete a task or whatever it may be. And it is very important for us to teach students how to write an algorithm. And one good example here we can give is before you construct a building, we plan, we make a design and then there are certain steps to be followed for that. So likewise in a program also, in coding also, we have to write an algorithm. So that we have to uh, teach, to kid, uh, teach to our kids, but we are not going to become very technical in higher classes, in core programming languages, we will, uh, they will be taught to use a very technical terms and then the other aspects but here we are going to make it very simple but very general uh, steps so in our case here the main theme that is given in lesson 8 powerpoint slide is uh, I've just termed it here as let's let's go to for party and then that is the main theme here but how that is done is the situation is like this two friends decides to go for a dance party that means there are two friends and then they are discussing among themselves just creating a situation so they are discussing among themselves and then they are deciding to go for a party at night so the situation is there now what we are what we should do in so to plan we must have first of all the requirement so when you are planning so we are going to create an animation whereby two friends are there they have decided to go for a dance party at night so for to create an animation what we require so the requirement number one sprites so here there are two sprites two friends so therefore two sprites are required and then backdrop the main backdrop is a dance hall then the secondary part, the other one we can do it later, but the main one is a dance hall. Now, after that, since it is a dance, what we need is a sound. So, we are going to use the dance music. So, requirement is done based on the situation we have identified. So, this much is fine. But now, what we have to do is we, we just cannot. Uh, start writing we need to planning for a sequence of events to happen so therefore what we require here is the sequence of for animation must be planned so this actually is called as an algorithm so we have to come up with an algorithm so this is the algorithm so whenever we write an algorithm we can uh, we usually write it as a start but even if you don't uh, ask kids to write this one it's okay but I have just listed it here because anything 
it has to start so that's why we write it at, as a start but for kids we they need to write this part they can directly start the actual events so therefore first of all two friends they are going to discuss to go for a dance party at 9 9 p.m. so when they discuss what how exactly they are going to tell we need not specify that just in general a statement so two friends discusses to go for a dance party then they reach the party hall at 9 p.m. So after discussion let them go anywhere else but at 9 p.m. they are reaching the party hall then after that they dance throughout the night I mean basically this is just a situation I'm creating and then I'm writing the algorithm for that situation so after that when we click on the stop button the party stops that means the party ends so this is an algorithm so here start is there and then after that start here basically what it means is when i click on the green button the animation starts and then two sprites they will appear they will discuss talk to each other and then decide to go for a party at 9 p.m. then in between you can create anything our main scene would be after at at 9 p.m. they are going to reach the party hall and then after that they dance the music will be on they'll start moving and then when we click on the stop button then the whole animation will stop so this sequence is what we will have to write so this is called as an algorithm so whenever we are creating an animation or a story or a game or anything we have to teach kids to come up with this algorithm a step by step process to achieve a task step by step process to solve a problem so our problem here is that dance the party our task is to create the animation to for a dance party so this is called as an algorithm so we don't have to worry about all the extra things we will focus on the main requirement so the main requirement here is two uh, sprites and then the backdrop just one dance hall then uh, the other one is a sound so those things we are going to use first once we complete the basic things then we can start adding extra things in our animation so that is what we'll have to do so that, therefore we have i have hidden so many un extra things here i have just specified here the main requirements two sprites a dance hall and dance music but in an animation in a dance party there could be so many other people so those so that means the other extra sprites we can add later on but we will first fulfill our basic requirement so this way we will have to approach in coding and then in creating an animation so this is very important you'll have to teach to kids how to do this as well so this is our algorithm so now i will take you through that scratch uh, interface and then here i'm going to create the actual animation here now we know now that we need two sprites so actually two people are talking so i'm not going to use this cat so i'm going to insert a uh, different sprite so let's say there is an abby here and we have to use a very uh, appropriate one Uh, so that uh, it will be easier for us so i'm going to let me use every walk so i'm using these two sprites so what i'm going to do here is now since they will be talking to each other i want this every to turn or uh, okay every i uh, let her turn towards the abby so therefore what i'll do here is just to make it initially here so set rotation is left to right and then point in direction this is positive direction so is towards the positive direction so now i'll just make it here as negative 90 so now if i click here she will be turning this side
But when they are talking, I don't think uh, this uh, will be the posture of the hand. So I'm going to go to the costume and then let's say uh, this one is appropriate. So okay, so let me take it up and then this one is her posture. So this is okay. But uh, if you want to use your own designed uh, uh, sprites, you can do that. But here to cut short, I'm using the default sprites. Now this is the case and then now by looking at the overall stage and then the size of sprites it looks quite big so i'm going to reduce their size so i'll just write here as 60 let's see whether it is okay yeah, fine or oh, or oh, let me make it here as 70 70 and then for this one also i'm going to make it as 70 so 60 and 70 is is okay so let me keep this one here because this should be the overall initial part so i'll keep these two blocks here and then let the position of this sprite be like this so initially i'm going to now do this one i have to do the initial settings so whenever a program starts whenever this animation starts this two has to appear in this position so I'm going to use an, when green flag is clicked when green flag is clicked I, I have selected this every at the moment so she should be in this appearing in this position so go to is there and then whenever I select a sprite its coordinates will already always be there the current coordinates will al already be there automatically negative 82 negative 87 here also it is negative 2 82 and negative 87 so this are this is average current position so she should this sprite should appear here and then whatever may be her whatever may be her uh, direction but at the moment her rotation style has to be there and then she should point in negative 90 why i'm doing this one is in the process of animation this sprite might turn in so many different direction but when we start she has to be in this position facing in this direction and then left and right so that it will look like this so that is the case now same thing i'm going to use it for the other sprite so what i can do is once we can click on this set of Co block I'll click I'll co co copy this one control C I'll go to another sprite and then I'll paste it here so it comes now I'm not going to use point in direction negative 90 because C has to be in the positive direction so I'll have to write it here as 90 and then I'm still using a uh, rotation style because in the process of animation she would have point uh, turn in so many different direction so I'm uh, making a rotation style left to right, right and point in direction 90 and where should she be her location is this one go to 190 negative and negative 85 so that is the case so this is the initial initialization or initial setting so whenever we restart or start the game they will have to be in this position so now I have done for both of this one so now let's say C is here and then C is somewhere else here she would have turned so many other direction so let's say direction is like this so if I do like this uh, it is not going to turn because if we have already uh, used the t uh, left to right so all around and then now it is negative 33 so let's say but when i restart it will be like this that is the meaning of initial settings so whenever you are creating any different animation i would like you all to follow this so this is very important now when the green flag starts i have not actually apply the algorithm I am just trying to initialize this but the first thing they are going to do is they are going to talk to each other so 
when they talk to each other who should start first that we can decide so let me uh, start uh, the conversation from uh, start with Abby so when this green flag is clicked she should say let's go to party party today or tonight so she's talking Abby is talking to uh, Avery so uh, Abby says let's go to party tonight now Avery has to listen so for that purpose we need to use event that is broadcast so uh, I'll just use here go uh, the name of the message is go okay now Avery has to receive that so therefore when I receive so click on Avery and then write here when I receive and then what she should receive the message go we have to make sure that whatever message we have written here that has to be received so when I receive then she should also say something so she will say okay let's go Uh, uh, let's go at uh, I'm just writing at 9 p.m. So Avery agrees and then and then she's suggesting let's go at 9 p.m. So fine now whatever she Avery is telling uh, Abby has to listen so therefore Avery should also broadcast a message so her message I'll give a different name here that agree so Avery has agreed now Abby will have to listen so I'll go to Abby and then when I receive agree again though it is agree but I have to make sure that it is then she will also say something okay then see you at 9 p.m. and then don't be late just adding some text here some conversational text so see says that one then this is the situation so now a uh, conversation is happening so uh, let me uh, run this one so start then see you at 9 PM. so this is done so the talking is done now so what we will do now next is they will go they will depart now they should depart so when they should depart this is the last uh, talking uh, conversation this is the last part so after this they should depart so what I will create is one event because event sorry one message and then this message I'll write say depart depart so this with this signal both should now disappear so what I'll do here is I'll make this Abby disappear so after sending this signal she will hide she will hide but how will she know that now she has to go so she has to receive again so she will receive this uh, signal when I receive depart then what she will do is she is facing this side so she has to turn the other side so uh, I'll point in direction uh, point in direction I'll say keep it here as 90 So she will so when she receives depart she'll point in direction 90 and she will walk and then go towards this direction towards the right side. So walking is repeat. Let me write here as round 12. And then she will move 10 steps. Then she will just to make it a little bit delay, I'll write here 0 0.2 and change the costume so next costume 
this is the case so now let's try to see how it works so start let's go to party tonight okay let's go at 9 p.m. Oh, then see you she disappeared and then she is walking but here's it stops the reason is because the number of steps here is less so let me put it here as 20 and then let's see once again so why this is not happening here why she is not appearing because when I start uh, because here she had he she was hiding she was hiding so now when I start she has to appear so therefore I'll have to write here direction and then go and then show before this hap uh, before she shows up she will be her setting will be this one so now uh, let's try to see this one here let's go to party tonight okay let's go at 9 p.m. oh then see you at 9 p.m. then she goes so it's still uh, okay so I'll just make it here as uh, around 20 uh, 22 or 24 so let's say this is the case so this much is working perfect so this much is working perfect so fine now what I'll do here is I want I want when C reaches this age when C reaches this age now uh, I'll wait for a while and then let's say now we create a scene where they have reached the party hall so I'm going to paint one uh, sprite here and that sprite will be a text so let me write a text here party night party night so I have written here and then there is no font size here we will have to resize like this party night and then we can change the color so once this is selected select tool is this one so I can select this and then I can change its color so like this party night or you can put some uh, fancy fonts you have to create it as an image and then you can put it here but here I'm just using the scratch paint editor then after that uh, I'll write one so 9 p.m. so I'm just writing this one here 9 p.m. so this is the case now I've done this one here and uh, this party night okay uh, I will keep it here and what I'll do here is I'll go to the code now let me okay so this is a sprite I have painted here I have painted this sprite and it's appearing so for example here when I start the, this is also appearing I don't want this particular sprite to appear in the beginning so what I'll do here is I'll select this sprite and then because when the animation starts only these two should appear and talk to each other this sprite should not be appearing so I'll go to events when I click on green flag it should not be appearing so I'll just write it here as hide so this is hiding so now when should it appear when this particular uh, sprite should appear is when Avery reaches this age that means when she touches the age then what should happen is this sprite she should hide she should hide and Abby should also not appear but only this sprite should appear 
so that is the idea so now I'll go to the avery and then here so she will walk here and next costume so fine so I'll just let her walk and then check here how it goes okay so uh, repeat to sorry move not 24 okay uh, 15 and then let's see what is your initial uh, position go to this is our initial position so let me does it work or not okay it works so 15 uh, let me put it here as 14 13 it would be okay so let me check again then go there okay so that much is okay so when she reaches that one then what she has to do is she has to after completing this many steps she has to hide she has to hide then after that send a signal send a signal for this text to appear on the stage so broadcast uh, what I will write is just write a um, signal name text text okay so this is done and then what should happen is only this one will receive this sprite will receive so when I receive text when I receive text then I should show up so that means show so what will happen is first of all I'll write here uh, I'll animate it so set size to set size to from this size let it be a uh, five percentage and then repeat around ten times around 10 times let it be here no problem <clears throat> so let this be here somewhere else in the middle and then what should happen is continuously change first it will size will become very small five percentage then it will keep on increasing 10 times change the size by sorry by 10 so 10 times it will do so let's see what will happen so I can just out this one this is the case but it comes very fast so again this control weight is very important so here 0 0.2 let me put this is the case so I'll put here 0 0.5 and then C yeah so let it be so that is the case then after this wait for a while so this is the one sorry so this delay is a little bit uh, slow so I'll write here 2 and then check or oh, 0 0.1 okay this is this looks good so animation is there she is not hiding now because uh, we have not played that one so now let me restart now so she will says you don't be late and then she is moving now they have reached the party hall at 9 pm so this much is working now what should happen next we have first uh, algorithm is done that is they have discussed then second one is they depart and then they will reach the party hall at night so they have reached now now what should happen is they should dance so for that purpose here I'm going to use now the backdrop 
so I'm going to select a backdrop so party hall uh, is there dance hall where is it spotlight yeah this is fine so now backdrop has to change when should the backdrop change so when this particular sprite appears party night 9 p.m. when it appears and then after some time just few seconds the party hall should appear so backdrop has to change so that is one aspect so I'm going to write it here in for in this sprite only because after it appears only the backdrop is going to change so I'll select this sprite then one second and then wait for let's say after it animates so for example it animated it should wait for a while then and it change the backdrop so switch backdrop to backdrop one but it, it is written one but this is backdrop two spotlight so therefore I'll select that particular backdrop that is spotlight so this is done so when I start they are talking but this backdrop is appearing again because I did not specify the initial condition set backdrop to backdrop one so let's see yeah now it is working and the other sprite is not appearing the reason is because after she has hidden she is not appearing when I click on the green flag so this one is so this is how we keep on checking part by part whether our sequence of events are working or not so therefore if I still sorry I think I have written here hide instead of so So therefore, they are appearing now. Party night, wait for one second and then the party hall is appearing. Now once the party hall appears, then once this one uh, backdrop appears, then this party has to this party night 9 p.m. it should hide so it will hide here and then what should happen now is these two sprites should appear these two sprites should appear so now what I'll do here is I'll create an event uh, message here so the new message should be uh, come and then before okay so broadcast and it will hide so that's fine come so this one should come so when I receive come and then where should this one go so they have to first show up so therefore so and then we, so if I show here she will be here but this is not the proper place to show up so let her be somewhere else here here okay so what when I receive come then she has to be in that position before showing up so this is the case go to this location so we will not see this process then only it will show up so similarly this one okay but I'm not going to use this uh, particular sprite because be now they are going to dance but her motion will be like walking so I'll use another sprite here now so that sprite here is looks like her only every dancing somewhere else is there yeah every uh, this one I'm going to use so she will also be there so instead of using her I'm going to use her now so when I receive events when I receive so 
uh, sorry come then she should appear here and then her size should also be around 70 percentage as we have specified before 70 percentage like this but she should they should be facing each other towards each other so therefore what i'll do here is uh, point in direction negative 90 so negative 90 so she is like the reason is because set rotation style is not done so set rotation like this okay so this position is there and then she has to appear in this position so her position here is a go to yeah this is the one so she has to appear in this case so here i hope i did not put okay fine so she is going to appear in this fashion so now this is the situation here now let me again start and then check this is still appearing so because i did not put for her i did not put when the green flag is clicked so when the green flag is clicked she should hide so now it should work and then she has to show up here so therefore uh, i'll have to put here when i receive she has to show so this is the case so again let's start wait for one second and they are appearing fine now what should happen what should happen here is height then they will appear fine so once they appear then what should happen which one uh, let me write in this particular case only then a sound has to be played so uh, she appears here so so come and then uh, I'll play a sound I'll do this parallelly so when I receive come duplicate and then play the sound not the pop one i want to include a sound so this sound should be the dance sound so i'll use here the sound from here dance okay let me use this one so i'll go to the code and then i'll select this dance around and then come they will appear then what this uh, she should be doing is she should be dancing now forever and next costume and control wait for some and then I'll just use here three five or I'll use three so this code so she will be doing that but I'll the reason I am selecting this one is I want to copy and then paste here. So this is the case. Uh, all these are not required. And then I will do like this. So this is running. So what will happen is so and then they will start dancing the uh, so song will also be song will also be there so therefore what i'm going to do is i'm going to maximize this and then i'll click on the green flag okay now the animation starts
so now they are dancing here but I want some effect now these are some of the extra thing so this effect also I need to change so therefore here next and then change I can change uh, this is for this sprite and here but th for this one here now what I want is its effect should also change its effect should also change so uh, I'll go to events and then when I receive is there then there is messages they come because backdrop will also receive a message sent by the sprites so when I receive come then what should happen is control and then let it be forever and go to the looks and then change the color effect by 25 so I'll just use this default value and then I'll start let's go to party tonight okay conversation is happening now they are departing now they reach the party hall <laughs> looks a little bit dry so I want now some other sprites to appear so one good uh, this is one see also this also dances very well so let me put it here as an 80 uh, quite big so here's look 70 so let her be so he here and then let it let me make here as 60 so this is some other people or uh, let let her be here so I'll make it here as 50 okay fine and then let me add another sprite another sprite so one boy is there this boy dances very nicely so let him take the center stage so let me put here the size as 60 this is the one and then this two will be at dancing at the side she will be dancing somewhere else here and he will be dancing that part so uh, let me make it here as 50 okay I think this size is better so he will appear here now when they are going to appear here is so come is there isn't it? so when come is come message is sent this two will appear so when I receive come early when I receive come then so rest of the time they will hide hide so I'll copy this one and then go to this and then I'll paste here but when the green flag is clicked when the green flag is clicked this should be hiding so this should be hiding I'll click here copy and then paste here also so when the green flag is clicked everything everybody will be hiding so hidden so now this is the case now this should be dancing hide then receive so then they should dance so if they dance then we can apply the same C copy and then paste here and then they will dance okay so now let me stop this and let me start stopping so therefore where is the music here I think this is the music around and then you can put this one forever 
uh, inside this one so if I put it this one then uh, there will be some problem here so you can put it forever no problem it will play again it will play again it will play so let me do it once again that's it and then if you want initially initially now let me start and then stop initially at this point uh, the backdrop if you want different then you can go to the backdrop go to click here and then choose one backdrop here so choose one backdrop and then there is a hall here somewhere else okay so this is the one so you can set this one as initial backdrop and then you can delete this hall so therefore what you can do is go to the code I think I have set it here so here it should be hall so if I set this one then it will be like this This is how we uh, create a communication among Sprite. There is a communication happening and then different events are taking place and it's all due to the events and then we can create this one. So in your task you'll have to create uh, this sort of an animation. I want you all to try this first and then based on the task I would like you all to create a sort of a poetry rec recitation. So let's say a teacher is there uh, appear and then say something and then she will start reciting a poem student will listen and then let there be some communication so poetry recitation the reason uh, uh, we are doing this one is because scratch not only allows kids to learn coding but it will also help teachers to use as a tool to teach because if you are able to create this sort of an animation and then teach kids will be highly motivated so that's it uh, so uh, I'll stop here and then thank you for watching. So.